Hey, welcome to UK Wildcrafts. This is Shepherd's Purse, Capsula bursa pastoris, one of the most common wild plants that's found all over the world, growing in almost every habitat. All parts of this plant are edible, the roots, stems, the leaves, although the younger ones are better, and the flower heads and seed pods are edible too. And the whole plant has a nice mild mustardy flavour. The basil leaves grow in a rosette around the main stem and they're deeply lobed and as you can see they slightly resemble dandelion leaves and the leaves higher up on the plant on the main stem you don't get many of them they're a lot thinner a lot more narrow and they're pointed and the the margins of the leaf are fairly straight but they'll have a few teeth on them and also the leaves are clasping the main stem. You can see it's like an arrow going around the main stem. And also you'll get side shoots growing out where the leaves meet the main stem. The stem is mostly smooth, sometimes slightly hairy towards the base, but it's only a very light fur. The shepherd's purse mainly flowers in spring, but it can actually flower all year round. And the flowers are small and white and grow in dense clusters. And the flowers are always growing at the very top of the plant and like other brassicas the flowers form a cruciform shape which is four petals in a cross. The most distinctive part of the plant are these heart shaped seed pods which is where the plant gets its name from shepherd's purse because they resemble purses that the shepherds used to carry to uh, hold their food and water. The green immature seed pods like this are my favourite way to eat them just as a little snack on the go and they've got a nice nutty flavour. As they mature they go brown or even more of a purple colour and although the seeds inside are tiny they can be collected, roasted and ground into flour. So these are the basil leaves here and you can see they can vary. Some are more deeply lobed than others and this is one of the higher up leaves on the main stem. And here's one of the flower heads. That's the immature seed pods there, the more mature seed pods and some of the tiny seeds 